For decades, people have chased the elusive American dream, which is often misinterpreted and misunderstood. The dream is generally thought of as achieving money or wealth. However, the television shows of the 1900s show that the dream is to achieve a highly functional family that fosters the fulfillment of a sense of individuality. Beginning with the birth of television programming in the 1950s, the show Leave It to Beaver promoted the quest to attain the American dream. As the beaver. One episode truly indicative of this message is the episode Beaver's Freckles, in which Theodore Cleaver, also known as Beaver, has to come to terms with his freckles. After Clarence Rutherford gives Beaver the nickname Freckles, Beaver becomes self-conscious and goes to great lengths in attempt to remove them from his face. Beaver's father, Ward, eventually helps Beaver realize what is really important. He says, it is not important what you look like on the outside, but rather what's on the inside that counts. This conversation proves to be a pivotal point in Beaver's development, where he learns to accept himself the way he is. As time elapsed, the American dream did not change. The 1970s show, The Brady Bunch, exemplified the same dream. The episode Try Try Again epitomized the American dream of using family to promote self-acceptance. In this particular episode, Jan develops an inferiority complex when she realizes she is not proficient at dancing. She begins to feel like a failure in all parts of her life and encounters feelings of inadequacy because of this. Her father, Mike Brady, plays an important supportive role in her development. Wait a minute, honey. Listen, all they're trying to do is give you a little confidence. I do have confidence. I'm confident that I'm a no-talent loser. No, no. Everyone has talent somewhere, and you'll never find where yours lies if you quit trying. Your father's right, Jan. You have to keep trying in life. You'll never succeed at anything if you're a quitter. As a result of her resilience following the conversation with her father, Jan discovers she is a talented artist and is able to accept her previous failures. This conflict resolution exemplifies what Americans believe to be important throughout the course of history. Now how about that? She tries out as an actress and winds up an artist. <laughs> you and Dad were right, Mom. If I hadn't kept trying, I would have never known. The 1990s show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, continues to promote the pursuit of this dream. In the episode, Blood is Thicker Than Mud, Carlton pledges a fraternity, but fails to be accepted due to the other's perception of him as a rich sellout. Will, Carlton's cousin, is accepted into the fraternity, but sacrifices his membership due to the cruel treatment of Carlton. With Will's encouragement, Carlton tells off the head of the fraternity, showing his clear acceptance of his own identity. It's you we don't want. Me. But I did everything. I cooked, I cleaned, I hand washed the toilets. Everything your butler does for you. I'm not accepting no prep school Bell bread sellout into my fraternity. No, you can stop all no, that. No, wait, Will. I got this one. You think I'm a sellout? Why? Because I live in a big house or I dress a certain way? Or maybe it's because I like Barry Manilow. Being black isn't what I'm trying to be, it's what I am. I'm running the same race and jumping the same hurdles you are, so why are you tripping me up? You said we need to stick together, but you don't even know what that means. If you ask me, you're the real seller. Carlton's speech shows how one must be proud and accepting of who they are, and he achieves this acceptance through the encouragement of his cousin Will. My show, Family 4.0, continues the trend of family support in the formation of identity. In the episode, Ronnie's Stutter, the teenage character Ronnie is being harassed at school by Ricky, the school bully. Ronnie eventually becomes so distraught over his speech impediment that he refuses to talk to anyone for fear that he will stutter. It is not until his seven-year-old sister, Carol, appeals to his kind-heartedness that he learns to accept his disability. In agreement with the values of the past, this episode of Family 4.0 underscores the importance of family in helping Ronald to accept who he is. The American dream has remained unchanged throughout the years and is clearly exemplified in the television shows throughout the ages. From the 1950s show Leave it to Beaver to the 1990s Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the American value of family in the formation of personal identity was clearly highlighted.